All right, guys, a little bit of a different video here. We've been asked so many questions about lots of different topics. So this week's video is going to be... So reasons to buy a hurricane damage boat. Yeah, we're going to so. do a separate one, which is... <laughs> why not Why to? <laughs> not to buy a hurricane damage boat? Should be a couple of uh, interesting videos here, guys. After having gone through the process of fixing a hurricane damage boat, we've learned a lot. Um, things we would do again, things we wouldn't do again. Things we um, do differently. Things we definitely do differently. Um, so we thought we'd put it into a video for you. Hi, we are Erica and Davey, an adventurous, slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane damage catamaran. We have come so far and are beyond happy to be floating once more. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance. You never know how perfect something may turn out to be. So number one, I guess, would be price. Yeah, we both agreed price <laughs> is definitely number one on here. Because you're able to get a catamaran for a relatively cheaper price than a fixed brand new one. Um, so yeah, like price... for us, we could we wanted a catamaran, but we couldn't afford a catamaran. So we decided on our skill level. Yep. we should be able to complete the task. So price 100% is number one, but don't be fooled by price. is definitely our number one reason to buy a hurricane damaged boat all right guys so number two this is one of my choices here and this is actually knowing your boat so if you go out there and buy a boat that's all ready to sail blue ocean cruiser and it's yep turnkey ready it's got all cutlery and bedding and everything you want you absolutely have no idea where anything is when it goes wrong and notice the when it goes wrong guys um, so part of having a hurricane damaged boat means you get to know every square inch of your vessel and that is crucial information for when you're in a sticky situation and uh, it's all hands to decks so being able to repair it on the fly having a hurricane damaged boat means you'll pretty much know where those spots are and where to find stuff because chances are you've already had to fix everything around yeah. that area already. or you've had to get into that area or you know where that fuse board is or that switch or that wire or yeah you you'd pretty much know where all your systems work from and how they work or you've upgraded them to make them work and change things out to the way you want them because yeah. you have that opportunity to do it when you're kind of replacing and fixing and you're starting from scratch basically yeah. so number three on our list is for our environmental friends out there um you can be green you're recycling you're taking something that was once a piece of rubbish that was going to end up in a landfill rotting forever and you can take it and you can create something beautiful you can create a home on it you can make it your your yeah, you dream, make it your own, right? and uh, yeah, they don't have to use all these materials again to reproduce something for us. Um, the carcass is there, and we make something go good of it. So it's definitely better for the environment than having to produce a brand new boat. Yeah, and it's recycling. Uh, we have a Dominican coin and a seahorse. Seahorse for luck. 
<laughs> so while, while we're filming this video, we're sat on the beach. It's a beautiful little spot. And... Fox is playing Fox fetch. Fox is playing fetch and having the time of her life. <laughs> this is her favorite pastime. What's up, Fox? Again, again. Ready. <laughs> so, number four is challenge. It challenges you. Everyone likes a challenge, right? Everyone likes a challenge. We definitely like a challenge. Um, and there's a lot of challenging things involved in trying to rebuild a <laughs> hurricane damage boat. Yeah. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. But it helps you grow as a person and it challenges you to make decisions and just be effective in what you're doing and it's just the challenge that makes you excited and... Yeah? Uh, yeah? So if, <laughs> if you feel you're up for the challenge, then Hurricane Damage Boat could be for you. Uh, but definitely considering a few things to make sure you can accomplish the challenge. Either having the skills, willing to learn the skills, or having a little bit of extra financial behind you so that you can employ someone to do the bits and pieces that you can't do yourself. Maybe you can learn from them while they're doing those bits as well. So the challenge is definitely a big part of buying a hurricane damaged boat. And being challenged in life is always something that's very rewarding when you get through it. It's going to be fun to try and get this thing off, I think. I hate this thing behind me, It, but it's grown on me and I've gotten used to how it looks, but it's the moment it's going to pop off. It's going to come off. It's just gonna be like magic. Whoa. Look at that. All right guys, so as you can see, there was a slight hole in our boat, but if you bear with us for the next couple of hours, we should be able to go. One, two, three. Ready? Are you ready? Do we have a cabin top? We have a cabin top. Da, da, da. Look at that, guys. Oh. We actually have spaces for windows. We have a cabin top that's the right shape. So our fifth and final reason to buy a hurricane damaged boat, if you are someone like us who does do YouTube videos, it is good for YouTube. People like to watch people fixing things. Boatyard work, everyone loves it. Uh, it's, ch again, the challenge of watching it, um, the challenge of fixing things. Um, so people like to see what you're doing. It definitely, it definitely helps with YouTube. Um, we've also noticed as well, we had some, we actually just going back to the YouTube thing. So when we were in the boatyard and in Lutron and that sort of stuff, everyone was like, when are you gonna get out and start exploring? We're waiting for them videos. Okay, so we get out here and we've, you know, we've got the boat up to a shape that we can go exploring on it. And now we're exploring, we don't get nearly as many views. <laughs> and uh, everyone says, when are you going to fix something? Yeah, <laughs> so people love boatyard videos. Um, so it's just good for that aspect of our life as well. Definitely good for you. <laughs> so, put Erica to work and she's turned herself into a little speckled hen again. Today, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, behave. There goes a blooper, doesn't it? All right, please don't put that in my face. <laughs> really, please. Okay, I quit. I quit. I'm going home. I'm leaving Erica here. So after six long weeks of not being able to work on the boat, it was so satisfying to put the final coat of bottom paint on. We are super excited for this next chapter. It was so satisfying peeling that last bit of tape off of the boat. you are looking for a hurricane damaged boat, the price is right, you have the skills and the knowledge and you're up for a challenge, then definitely consider it. And maybe one day you'll be here in the Bahamas enjoying these crystal clear waters. Even though we don't have a mast, the boat has proved herself over almost 500 nautical miles of travel. And we are getting prepared for the next chapter of our adventures. All right, guys, so we are sat here on the beach. We are melting. We hope you enjoyed this week's video of reasons why you should buy a hurricane damaged boat. Um, give you a little bit of insight into that. Stay tuned in our upcoming videos. We will put one out that's reasons not to buy a hurricane damaged boat and things to look out for. But I think we need to go get some shade and maybe a Coca-Cola or a big, huge glass of lemonade.
Perfect. All right, guys. Hot. So anything you want to ask us about the hurricane damage boats, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Is that a swimming pig or is it a fox? Hey, come here, little piglet. Come, fox, come, come, come. Give me that ball, give me that ball. You can stand up there, no, no. You can stand up, you get it. Ready? So that was just the funniest thing ever. Uh, I didn't have a camera out, but Fox decided to swim to the dinghy, even though we're on a dock. She decided to swim all the way underneath the dock, all the way to the dinghy. Stressed. What was that? I'm not stressed. I'm not worried. It's been a lot of work. We've done a lot of work to do this. Please put the boat back in the water without breaking it. <laughs> 